In this video, I want to show you my process taking the vocals from this. I've been stranded on my own, to this. I've been stranded on my own, Wanna know how I done that? Stay tuned, watch this video. Let's dive in. What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video is a mixing rap vocals video. Before I jump into this video, I just want to quickly say thank you to all the new subscribers. I see you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much for subscribing and for all my subscribers from before. Thank you for being a part of this journey as I build up this channel and build up this community so we can just keep sharing, keep learning from each other. 2020 is going to be a big year for all of us. Happy New Year. Let's get it. So I had the luxury of mixing uh, the vocals or mixing the song for crazy talented artist named Nick Fraser. There's a link in the description below. Hit that link, follow him, see what he's up to, listen to his stuff on Spotify. Um, yeah, so I had the luxury of mixing one of his songs. Well, I've mixed a couple of songs for him now. I think this was the first one I mixed. What I would say is, even though I'm showing you my way of doing things, it's going to be different for you. It's all about your thought process and why you're choosing to do what you're doing and why you've chose that plugin. If you want to, you can copy or use similar plugins that I've used to get your vocal sounding as crisp as these. Let's jump in. So this is the vocal without any processing. I'm just going to solo it first. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes. I'm at peace with myself now. With the track. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while. And with all the plugins. I've been stranded on my own side and for a while. For a while now, for Stop sending me exes. I'm at peace with myself now. There's a few there's a few things going on. It looks it does look a bit overkill, but it's got that sound that I was after, so it's all good. Well, what I've got here is I've got the main channel, then I've got my main channel going into a bus and then my bus is going into an all vox bus so the main vocals going to the main bus and all my vocals like ad libs and stuff will be going to an all vocals bus which is this one here normally it's at the end of the mixer but i've just made it easier and put them all together here it might seem like a, a complicated way of doing things but that's how i work and it works for me so i'm just going to roll with that so first thing i like to do is well what i had to do with this one is um take some of the s's out because it was quite sibilant i don't know if it's the microphone he's using sometimes you get artists who are a bit sibilant and yeah that's just just how it is sometimes so what i've done is i've gone in normally i just like to cut an s it normally looks like this like really condensed cut them and then just pull down the gain a bit from here so it's not so overbearing when it comes to doing all the other processing so that's the s's cut the s's Pull them down a bit so they're not overbearing when it comes to doing all the other processing. This part here, I don't know why I haven't, but it looks like it's louder than the rest of that. So I should have just pulled that down really so that it's a bit more even. So the compressor doesn't have to do too much work when it comes to uh, compressing. That S there is bugging me a little bit. I just want to bring that down. I don't even think it's going to make much of a difference, but I'll do that anyway. So then I've jumped onto the NS1 just to clean up some low end rumble, 13.7. Nothing too drastic, nothing too heavy. Then I've got the Pro EQ. Pro EQ, I've just gone through a sweeping through the, the frequencies, finding what sounds annoying. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while. So for me, it sounds a bit boomy. So I've took some frequencies out 127, 196. Here I've got, is that even on? I didn't took nothing out there. So example, 9K was annoying me. So what I've done is pulled out some of the 9K, but I've also used this node as a dynamic EQ. So the 9K, it's getting pulled out a little bit, but then you've got the dynamic compressing that frequency when it gets too much. And, and that's this frequency here. I just felt it was a bit Stop. annoying. So I just took that out. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes. Moving on, we've got the DSR. You know what a DSR does? If you don't, DSR is like a 
multiband compression and it's just it will take out frequencies wherever you set that frequency so here i've got the wide band and it's taken out between 7 and 14k should be around about 6 db it doesn't, it doesn't have to be but i've took out around 6 db i've been stranded on my hopeless side and for a while now Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace. This part here is, I'm can sound a bit lispy. If I push the DSO too much and he's gonna, you're gonna sound like he's got a lisp. But sometimes when the, the whole song's playing, it doesn't really pick out all of that. So you can get away with it. If I push the DSO too hard, then it will sound I'm way lispy. On my island and it kind of takes away some of the top end quality of, of the vocal. So I'm gonna leave that around 8 dB. Then we've got some auto tune. Just to rein in some of them loose notes, 27 retune speed, nothing too heavy, which is what he, he asks for, because he doesn't want to go for the robotic sound. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. I'm going to do a video on, on how I use auto tune as well, because I feel like there's two ways of using it. I always have it in, no, not chromatic, major. <laughs> I've been stranded on my hopeless island. I find the key by listening to the actual vocal. Uh, some people, or how I used to use it is choosing the note of the actual song, which is which is the right way to do it. But for some reason, me using it this way works. So I'm gonna do a video on, on how I do it and yeah, just share that with y'all. So moving on, we've got the C4. C4 is just to tone the vocal, get that vocal tone, pulling out some of that low end up to about 140 hertz. And then we've got that mid range being pulled down just to create the tone. And then we're using the high mid and some of that air to give it some of that vocal presence. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with myself now. So if you noticed, I'm A, B in it to see what difference it's making. Well, I'm doing this in solo so that you can hear what I'm doing. I would, normally I, I would have the track playing in the background so it makes sense to what I'm doing. So yeah, don't do it in solo. Then we've got the compressor, stock logic compressor. I'm using this as a distortion unit. I push the distortion up into soft. Then I'm pushing the gain, the make makeup gain. I'm not compressing anything. And I'm just pushing the makeup gain into the distortion and then pulling back on the output gain. So it sounds like this. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with myself now. So it doesn't sound like it's doing much, and that's why I'm using so many plugins because I don't want to do I don't want I don't want one plugin to do everything. So it's like a a series of plugins building up to the point of getting that sound. So yeah, that's a cool trick. I like this distortion unit, works nicely. Then we got True Iron, and what have I done here? Yeah, I've just boosted the strength, and there's different voicings on here as well. I like the, how the V178 sided, so I've just gone with that. I'm not really crushing it. This is what it's doing here. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with myself now. Again, not really doing that much. I feel like it's missing something when it's not there so that's why i've used that this frontier now so i was put onto this by another engineer who's absolutely amazing at what he does uh, most of my chain has come from learning from other people's where he shared his knowledge i've used that to get to this point of mixing vocals and this is one of the plugins that he recommended shout out sb for that i can't remember his insta name but yeah dope dope plugin frontier free free as well so yeah got that i put a link in the description below so you can go and get that as well this hair it can add distortion and it can also compress your vocals or whatever sound you that you're using it on and yeah let's just turn this on and see what we're doing i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now stop sending me exes i'm at peace with myself even though it's made this ladder, I feel like it's adding some extra weight to his vocals. That's exactly what I wanted. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Yeah, like I said, I'm using this as to kind of level out the, the, the vocals. Works nicely. Still a bit sibilant, so I've grabbed another DSR from Waves. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. 
Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with doing some light work on that the arc compressor so what i like to do with this arc compressor i always just i use this as a leveler i feel it works nicely i like to use this just before i use it 1176 from uad i have the attack on 16 and the release at 100 116 i always just leave it there this shouldn't be doing too much compression i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now stop sending me exes i'm at peace with myself now Again, just to level it off, tame some of them peaks that might be jumping up. And that works nicely, I like that. So moving on, we've got the 1176 and fast release, slowish attack. Fast release helps to push the, the vocal forward. Slow release will push it back in the mix. The attack is gonna affect the transients of the vocals. And the settings that I've got here, I felt sounded right, worked for, the, for this particular song. And this is what it does. And it also adds a little bit of grit as well to the vocal. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with my. I, I like to hear the, the gruffly sound of a vocal when I'm mixing someone, especially if they've got that in their vocals. And I feel like the, the 1176 adds to that, like a bit of distortion bit saturation so that works lovely there We've got the rvox compressor doing a bit of compression and also acting as a gate here's how it sounds i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now stop sending me exes i'm at peace with myself now again that's just a level level off the vocals to get it to sit in the mix and using the gate just to tighten up a bit next one i've got is the pro q3 and what am i doing here Taking out some unknown frequencies again. Probably that's just been building up through the processing of these plugins. And then I've got 3 dBs at around 8K just to tame, push down some of them unknown frequencies when it gets too much. And that's in a dynamic, so it's not pulling it out all the time. It's only when it, it's overbearing or it hits a certain threshold, then it'll get squeezed down. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Sorry, that's two different nodes I've got there, Six, 6k and 9k. Quite a wide queue there, narrow queue. It's whatever works for you and the, the song that you're mixing. And then lastly in that chain, we've got the RS-56 from Waves. And it's just boosting a little bit of the 2k and this is providing a little bit of air. Here's how it sounds. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Oh, that's providing a nice bit of air, I think. I like that. This is what it's sounding like so far with everything in the mix. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. For a while now. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with my... So you could probably think, yeah, why don't you just roll with that? That's fine. And I probably could have, but I felt like it's... Even though it's bright, I feel like it's a little bit... Like I can do some more with it and maybe tame that top end a bit so it's a bit more smooth. So moving on to the buses, that P mix, that's a whole nother video, but I always have that one and that provides a bit more. It's like it opens up the mix. I'll play it and then pop it in and out so you can hear what it's doing. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with myself now. So yeah, it made, it made the vocal louder ladders can be perceived as better but it works for the mix and it works for all the other mixes that i do as well so the next one up is a doubler simple things direct is on no sometimes i have it off but for this occasion it's on and then i've got the two i've got the two the the uh so the doubler is just adding double vocals on either side detuned minus minus six and plus six yeah and that works nicely let's just hear that i miss yeah so that's what that, that's doing i'm at peace with myself boost it so you can hear what it's doing i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now so what i like to do is boost it pull it back and then a b it so i know when it's off it's missing something when it's on it's cool it's doing the job so the next one is i've called this one fox grit so i've got dsr so straight away i'm trying to tame some of the frequencies at the top the apex vintage from waves adding a bit of that sheen then a pro q3 i'm doing all sorts here <laughs> probably some frequencies that was annoying or something that needed to needed boosting so 3k has been boosted 1k is taken out 
as well as 700k and this is what it's doing i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now mm, nice i've been stranded on my hopeless island so it just sounds a bit more breathy. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. That's the Vox grit, and these are on buses, so it's acting like a, acting like a, a parallel bus. So if I wanted to send another vocal to that, I can, rather than trying to put all that onto one channel, and the other file can use it. So that works nicely. So I'm tr I'm trying not to make this video too too long. I'm gonna probably split it main vocals, and then the next video would be the uh, backing vocals and the effects so probably three parts for this video or it will be three parts for this video next thing is vox air what am i doing here again so we've got i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now stop sending me exes i'm at peace with myself now so what i've done here is so i wanted to provide some more air again for the for the main vocal and what i've done is cut the lower frequencies at 2.5k and dipped at 8k by a lot and then boosted it looks crazy doesn't it i boosted about 6 db high end air at 12k did the esser again just to tame what's going on i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now stop sending me exes i'm at peace with myself now i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with myself now. Yeah, nice, I like that. Sounding good. Then, I've got the delay, which is obviously the effects, and more effects, and then more effects. So reverbs, delays, standard stuff. What's that last one? Yeah. So if you notice on my delay buses, I've got compressors on them and the compressors will be to uh, acting as a side chain. So when the vocal's doing its thing, it will com uh, it'll be get the delay will be, be getting compressed or side chained because I don't want it to, I don't want it to be battling, to be fighting. So the delay can do, the main vocal can do its thing. And when it stops, the delay will swell and come up. And yeah, it's a nice little effect. So I'm gonna do another video on that, showing you that process. So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play the track and then bring in the, uh, the effects, the delays and reverb so you can hear how it gives it that space. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with myself now. Go! Don't go ruin my vibe and arrive in my life now. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. I'm at peace with myself now. There's a noticeable change in the uh, levels, and you're probably thinking, well, we're supposed to gain match gain? Gain match. I forget what it's called. <laughs> Mine's gone blank. But yeah, don't get too caught up in that. It's you're the mixer, you're doing your the you're doing the job, you do what works for you. Um gain match, I think it's so yeah, that's my uh, process in mixing those but then i've got a main bus so the main bus is doing all sorts as well so let's just quickly jump onto that i'm going to go through quickly because i don't want this to be too long and boring the main bus is got sheps on there sheps is providing a bit, little bit more grit again and then we've got the multi-band that's taming some frequencies um like a dynamic eq then we've got the pro q3 <laughs> that's just taking out a little bit of 9k um, I'm gonna just run through these and then play them with and without so you can hear what's going on then we've got DSR bit of top end compression going on there DSN then we've got <laughs> then we've got the Pro Q doing all sorts here again yeah it looks crazy but it makes sense to me at the time to, to do that so Ozone 8, providing a little bit of saturation, some tube saturation, excitement there, that's good. And then we've got a DSR again, pulling out some of 5K, that was probably annoying me. And then we've got the Marg EQ, providing that airband, famous airband at about 3 dB. Then we've got an SPL tr Transient Designer, 
I like using this because I feel like it tightens up the vocals. So when I don't want the vocals to be. So before the camera cut out on me, ran out of space. So this video is kind of long. If you're still here watching it, I appreciate that. Stick around. Some, there's a few gems in there, a few nuggets worth sharing. So the SBO tran Transient Designer, I like to use that to tighten up the vocal again. Brought the sustain down a touch and pushed the attack. For me, it just gives it a bit, bit more punch to the vocal. Sometimes I like to use the, the Trans Mod from Sonox. That works well. So for this one, I've used the uh, SPO Transit Designer. And then the last in that chain is the Decapitator from Sound Toys. And that's doing pushed. I pushed the uh, saturation quite a bit there, but then if you look, it's the output's turned down a, a, quite a bit. And then you've got the mix knob. It's more on the, the dry side, so it's not really using the Decapitator that much. It's just adding a little bit to it. I'm going to play it to you with our audio then plugins on there and then I'm going to just bring them in so you can just hear the difference. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes, I'm at peace with myself now. I feel like that's like a big difference that it makes. That like it could seem crazy, all the plugins that I've used, but if you hear the difference, like especially this end part. Stop sending me exes. I'm at peace with myself. I feel like the vocals sound really, really nasal and a little bit, a bit telephonic. Yeah, have a listen. I'm gonna play it with and without. Stop sending me exes. I'm at peace with myself now. I think it just smooths it off so nicely. I've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now. Stop sending me exes. I'm at peace with myself now. That. For me sounds lovely i like it and most important thing about it nick was happy with it or is happy with it so yeah that's how i mix the vocals for stop sending me x's nick fraser main vocals i showed you my, my vocal chain oh before i go my bad that bus is going into this stressor plugin this ds plugin and also the uad uh, oxide tape just to give it a bit more just to give it a bit more of that saturation that analog feel and yeah this is what it sounds like i've been stranded on my hopeless island for a while now stop sending me exes i'm at peace with my the stressor is hardly doing anything it's on the ratio of two i've been stranded on my it's not really compressing it's more the distortion that i wanted to use from it dsr bringing out something at 4.8k i've been stranded I'm at peace with myself now. Lovely. And the UAD oxide tape. Yeah, again, just adds a bit more saturation to the vocals. And because it's on the all vox bus, that would be affecting all of the vocals that's in the mix. So that would be the background vocals and the ad libs as well. That's how I mix Nick Fraser's vocals, Stop Sending Me X's, which is on Spotify. And I think he's racking up the plays, the streams on that one. So that's a good look and I'm happy for him. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. I'm always showing like little tips and tricks that I don't always put on YouTube because they're just short snippets of stuff. Yeah, so hit me up on Instagram, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this video, if it's helped you, if it hasn't, if they, or if you do things in a different way, let me know. I'm always open to learning new things as well as sharing what I know. I think that's the only way we're gonna learn. If the video's helped at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.